clearly, if the Prime Minister has misled Parliament, deliberately misled Parliament, that is a very serious issue and would re require the resignation of a, of a minister, including a Prime Minister. But I go back to the other point. It, there has to be, in my view, to, to require the resignation of a Prime Minister, particularly at this time, something very significant to require that, sim rather than having some birthday cake or a glass of wine in your back garden. Alex? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think it does have to be something significant. And we have to remember that at that point in December 2020, we were asking people to cancel weddings. We were asking them to attend funerals of loved ones online. We were asking them to not meet newly born grandchildren. And on that, and that who had asked them to do that? The Prime Minister. And at that time, they were just living up and having their parties. That's why it's so serious. And I, I will stand by that. It's not a party political thing. That's really, really important. And the reality is, oh, we really got to the point in this process, but we now have to say that you're sat next to an open bottle of booze with a geezer next to you wearing tinsel, and you're going to somehow say that's not a party, having told Parliament that parties didn't happen, having told Parliament that you weren't at parties, and then this one, which isn't even in the Sue Gray report, which isn't even in the police report, you know, what more do you need, Kevin, if you won't accept that picture? Then, then you know, short of a time machine and attending yourself, I worry that Conservative MPs simply will never do the right thing. I here. mean, I suppose the, the one other point is, you know, frankly, we're all sat around here and we don't know the circumstances and that's why Sue Gray's looking into this and that's why, you know, there's a due process and maybe why Kevin's right about we need to wait for that due process. In saying that, I mean, Dominic Cummings, who may well, and again, we don't know, be behind some of this, has, has tweeted in the last couple of minutes that there are more photos including, he says, inside the Downing Street flat. And my point to you, Kevin, is and you've come on here. Of course, you have to defend your party and your government because that's part of the task. But where does this end? And it get, does it get to a point where, you know, you know, th there could be many worse things out there and, and, and that it gets, as critics would suggest, you're defending the indefensible. Well, I don't defend my party at all costs. I yeah. don't have to defend them. I'm sure I can do what I want. I voted against the government last week. <laughs> and, uh, and as I just said now, I, I, I would support some of the opposition policies against the government's position. So I, I, but it's back to the material degree. It has to be significant. This is a huge thing to ask a prime minister to step down. So I, I do think, OK, yeah, it may continue. These photographs might come out and some people that have got an axe to grind in this are determined to do this, try and get a death by a thousand cuts. But I think, again, the, the, the people I meet who don't really have a, a, a politically involved are far more laid back about this, in my experience, in my constituency, than the media is and the opposition is. And that's got to say something, mm. particularly about the seriousness of asking a prime minister to step down. And it's also, Alex, this point that, you know, people have made up their minds about this now. You know, it's gone, it's gone to the point where, frankly, if you don't believe the prime minister, you don't believe the prime minister. And actually, even if you don't necessarily believe the prime minister, but you don't think this is a resigning matter, your, your mind is set. That, you know, banging on about this is not going to go anywhere. We need to wait for the reports. And, and Labour do need to focus on other things. Well, I think you've seen from Keir Starmer today, he did focus on other things, very important things. Nevertheless, this won't go away because the Prime Minister won't address it. And the idea that people have made their minds up, therefore that's not enough. Well, actually, what you, all you're doing, as usual, you know, the Prime Minister pulls down everything around him with him. You're basically saying that Prime Ministers coming to Parliament, saying things that then later may not be true, doesn't matter anymore. I really strongly think that does matter. I think Kevin does too. I think actually the vast majority of parliamentarians do. But as usual, Boris Johnson's dragging us into the politics of the lowest common denominator. And I don't think we should let him.